Hello everybody, my name is Shannon Olson and I am owner, operator, creator, artist of Nana's Workshop. And I am going to, this is going to be part one of this cabinet makeover. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to try and recreate this canvas, which I already painted. This is original. I'm going to try and recreate this somewhat onto this cabinet. And this is my own personal cabinet. So I'm going to play around with it. It's going to have a lot of things going on. It's going to have palette knife painted flowers. It's going to have stamps. It's going to have um, crushed napkins. It's going to have more napkins. Um, it's going to be a lot of things going on. Um, I want it busy because I want it busy. So I thought I would take you guys through the journey and uh, step by step, part by part, and uh, show you how I'm gonna do this. And I wanna thank you for purchasing this tutorial, and thank you all for the support. I really appreciate it, couldn't do it without all of you guys. Okay, so let's get started. This is what I'm gonna try and recreate. I'm gonna go with these colors. So, I'm just gonna set that there. And now last night I already um, I don't want to bore you with what I did already. I can bring you in close. But what I did was I put Mod Podge in a bowl and I watered it down. Kind of where it's soupy but yet not quite really runny. And what I did was crunch up paper towels. You can use tissue paper. Tissue paper works just as good. And so I brushed on the glue and then I smoothed out the napkin and then I brushed the glue over top of it again. And I did that all over on both sides and in the front. Like I said, I don't really want to bore you with that part. So I'm going to bring you in close and show you what kind of an effect that made. And yeah, I overlapped it, but it is dry now. But you can see the wrinkles in it. It's gonna make some really cool texture when I paint over it. And um, especially the palette knife is gonna be really cool. So that's what we're starting with tonight. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and get a base coat on. And I'm gonna use my three main colors on my base coat and I can always add to it. Now on this canvas, I, you can see drips. Now I used a, a big spatula knife and I used drips and I scraped it and everything like that. Now with this napkins on it, I don't know that I'm going to be able to do that. So we will be experimenting along the way, but I just kind of want to take you guys along the journey. And if it helps you create a piece of your own similar to this, um, I would be ecstatic to see it. Um, so if you do buy this tutorial and you do use these techniques, please send me a picture of your item. I would love to see it. I would be proud to see it. I would be happy to see it. And you can always send me questions as well, anytime. So I'm gonna go grab my paint and my brush and my sprayer. I'm gonna use a sprayer on this. So I will be right back. I'm going to get them close to me, right down below me, so everything is within reach. My water and a few brushes. All right, I'm excited. So. Um, I think I'm going to start with the darker color first, so I'm going to get my green, and I'm using Stella's chalk paint. Um, you can use any color that you want, any brand that you want, um, but this is the colors that I used on that canvas, so I'm just going to use the same ones. So. First of all, I'm going to spray it and get it damp. Maybe my sprayer. 
Well, always technical difficulties. I have to switch sprayers. This one is not working. So hold on. Not a big deal. Give me one second here, guys. And I will get it figured out. A little bit more water. Let's see. Um, bear with me. <laughs> there it is. All right, bear with me. I know I had more water somewhere. I just have to find it. There we go. All right. As much as you prep and get ready, you always forget something or always something happens. All right, so this, this is a little bit different than my other sprayer. It's kind of a more powerful sprayer, but it, it's gonna work. So I'm just gonna dampen this down again. get my paint on there and I want it to get you running. I want my paints to kind of glide. So, and then another thing is I, I squirt the brush. Here, let me turn this, see if I can turn it. Let's see what I'm doing here. I'm just painting willy-nilly here because I will be doing another layer um, over top of this. So and this is where your squirter comes in. Get all that drippiness. Awesome. I'm just putting it all over right now. I'm just going to give you guys an idea here. texture already. This is going to be so much fun. Now keep in mind this is the background guys. So I'm just getting the paint all over it. I'm going to do some brown. Let's see another. There we go. This is kind of thick, so I'm going to go ahead and squirt some of this down again. And I want it to mix in, so. to blend.
grab the yellow now. We're going to layer this so on the second layer. I love these colors together. They really mesh well together. Now see how I'll have to bring you in close. And this is why I wanted that texture on there. Um, the yellow is actually picking up the, the high parts, and um, it's pretty cool. Let's bring some down here in the middle. And we might let this side dry. I'm not really worried about the bottom. we're going to be, like I said, we're going to be putting vines and things like that on it. Okay, so I'm going to bring you guys in close so you can see this, what we have so far. Now, do you see that, how that texture is picking up? what I just brushed over, can you see it okay? Like right in here. Yeah, all right. So now I'm gonna do it to the other side. If I can turn it around. These dollies are wonderful, you guys. They are a back saver. Now, this, I have this going on, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now because what I'm gonna do with that, that loose stuff, is I'm just gonna take a, uh, an X-Acto knife, or a, what do you call them? The thing with the little blade just laid out. I'm gonna just whiz right down that side and I'll be able to break that off. All right, so here we go. We're gonna dampen that again. You know what, I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to start, I'm not going to, I can't erase it, but I think I'm going to grab the brown before I get too much with this green. Because, you know, it'll be like on the jungle floor.
you don't have to follow me. I mean, the direction I'm going with each color, you do, you do you. But I'm just getting this on here. Now I'm going to go back to the green and get some more going here. almost looks like a tree trunk with just the green and the, the uh, brown. All right, now the yellow. The yellow should blend in with some of these. if you think there's too much yellow or too much green or too much brown so like I said we're going to come back and do another layer after this is all dry and when you come back and do the layer guys um, don't follow the same spots that you did on this first layer that's what's going to give you depth okay I might add a little bit more green and you can stand back and look at it and see if it balances but right now this layer is not really important to me um, I mean it's important but the next layer after it dries will be fun all right so now the front, now we get to do the front. All right. So this is going to be your main focal point because that vine is going to come up and around. I'm going to have some flowers over there on that side, but not many. But this is where it's all going to, this is all where the magic is going to happen. Um, I might even bring in a vine on this side and swoop it down, and this will come up. So we'll see. We'll see. If, I mean, I say that now, and then I always change my mind. So we'll see what happens. But but just getting this going like this, you can use it on anything. You can use it on canvas. You can use it on furniture. You can use it on. It's like it's decoupaging, guys. 
So, um, yeah, just decoupage your napkins or your your um, your uh, tissue paper on. And I'm going to go all brown down here. Inside of those legs. I'm not going to paint the inside because this basically is just going to store my paints and I'll leave it out here in the shop. Not worrying about the paper sticking out. If you want to trim them, after this all dries, I thought about taking a sander actually and sanding some of that off. And that's actually going to give you another effect, but we'll get to that when we get to that, okay? all the way up with the brown on this right side it probably is opposite to you in the camera but On the second layer, we'll use these colors again, but we're going to actually add more um, different shades, different shades of green, different shades of brown. Um, and I think I have a different shade of yellow that I want to add. So.
guys can see okay, kind of getting the gist of it. This side over here is running, it's kind of making a cool effect. I'll just show you. Which I want. this side lighter so like the sun is coming from this direction and that's the darker side because that's where most of the vines are going to be and your colors are going to come out your dark flower colors are going to come out into this yellow and it'll be more vibrant so I'm going to hit this side a little bit with some more yellow bring it up this side is already dry it's kind of cool uh, when I brushed over it. All right, so now, let's see. I'm just blending that in. I'm just feathering it when I'm blending it in. I'm like barely, barely touching my brush to the piece. Um, I might, well, we can do more drippy effects after this gets dry. So right now, cool, cool, cool. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. All right, so actually guys, we're gonna have to let this dry and we'll come back for part two. There's gonna be many parts. So, but we'll mash this all together into one tutorial for you. And you can stop and start it at any time to keep up and um, just get all the goodies and information. So um, I will be right back with the part two once this dries. All right, bye-bye.